I'm with David Keno from GDC. Now GDC has been doing quite well in recent years, doing very good numbers around the world. Definitely. But uh, we wanted to see what they're up to in the new announcements this year. And I actually wanted to start with what you see behind us. And that is um, DTSX Cinema. Right, is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, D well, DTSX is the uh, company that does the audio, right? Yes. And so, uh, what GDC, what we've done is we've actually uh, got the DTS uh, code or the, the MDA audio code, and we're actually able to do uh, real time rendering right on our IMB, right on the media block. So, um, so that means if you were doing, if you had an auditorium with the 11.1 speaker configuration, mm -hmm. you could do that with no hardware modifications, just a software upgrade to get to, to an 11.1 immersive audio imp implementation. Exactly, 11.1 or up to up to 16 channel right now, with more to expand more later, uh, but up to 16 channels of real-time rendering for uh, the uh, MDA audio or you know the immersive uh, object-based audio. Uh, and it's all rendered in real time on our uh, IMB. Well, that's very impressive and that's uh, um, it's very opportunity because um, there's a lot of talk this year about object audio and how SMPTE's standards are getting close to ratification and we have today working implementations shown here, etc. So when the standard is finished, there'll be a few little um, refinements to go, but we're pretty much ready, you know, on the starting blocks, ready to spring out there with object audio on your platform and many others. Yeah, exactly. Definitely ready to go. And before we continue, um, move on, I just wanted to quickly just go over what are, what other um, improvements or announcements do you have this year for your product range? Uh, for our product range, well, uh, as uh, you might know, everybody in the industry knows our core product is our, our servers, you know, the digital cinema servers. Uh, but one of the things that maybe not everybody knows is that GDC also has a TMS software, a theater management system. And we have, uh, uh, we're just uh, showcasing here at CinemaCon uh, our new LMS solution that uses our uh, storage array, up to 16 terabytes of storage, uh, with our TMS software to give you that, uh, that library management system that you know, most people are using nowadays or need nowadays in their cinema. Um, so that's one of our, our big showcase products along with the, uh, the DTS audio is uh, the LMS solution as well that we, that we have over in our booth. Um, we also have a new automation device. It's a, a basically it's a, um, a high voltage or low voltage automation device that theaters can use to uh, control their masking motors, their lights. Uh, uh, it's going to have a built-in dimmer in it, and, you know, so it's going to be built in dimmer, okay. yeah, built-in dimmer. So uh, we have basically we also have a 3D system, so we really have the full cinema kind of solution, you know, this full cinema package uh, that uh, that we're showcasing at CinemaCon this year. And, and just on the automation device, uh, it's quite a nice, nice unit, and one of the things I do like about it, it's got buttons on it. The buttons light right. up, so you've got. Um, uh, you know, information on what is actually the state of the auditorium, which I think is especially useful if you're trying to troubleshoot issues. So you know, you know what signal should have been fired because the light is indicating it, but the curtains didn't move. So you know where the problem starts and ends. So those sort of little touches actually go a long way when you're trying. If you're an engineer and you're trying to make this machine that auditorium work flawlessly, it's those little polishes which go a long way. Yes, and, and exactly. secondly, the, the the high voltage, which means you can turn your amps on and off, for example, through the unit as well. Exactly, your amps, uh, your projector, even if that's something you're looking to do, um, you know, your masking, you know, your masking motors, um, and like I said, with the built-in dimmer, you can actually control your house lights and you know, mid, low, high, just like everybody uh, everybody does nowadays. So. Well, thank you very much, David. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and good to see you this year, and I hope to see you next. Uh, anyway, that's James Gardner, Cinetech Geek at CinemaCon 2015. Bye for now.